Kia Picanto did not become a bestseller, although all the makings for this are obvious, good-looking, affordable, full of simple but real Korean quality. The only pity is that it is not our format. Otherwise, no one would have noticed the individual shortcomings of the hatchback. The three-door version went on sale in the summer of 2011. It has the same length and wheelbase as the five-door. However, due to its design, it has other windows and doors. Even the bumpers and grills are different. The last of the three-door with silver or red trim. The car was developed as if from scratch. It was significantly different from its predecessor. Appearance, yes. Heaven and earth, however, there were no ideological, structural changes either in the nodes or in the layout. Only modernization. And they, changes, in fact, were not particularly required. The first Picanto proved to be a reliable workhorse, as they say, for every day. Picanto number two can also be depicted in the same tones. Moderately capricious, unpretentious, inexpensive to maintain. And in addition, from now on it is stylish, cocky in appearance and well-equipped for its class. LEDs, USB, heated steering wheel. In Russia, the hatchback was sold with two gasoline engines with distributed fuel injection. The upgraded three-cylinder 1.0 MPI for 66 horses remained the base. It is paired with the five-speed in mechanics. The tandem is reliable, but not very lively, 14.4 S to hundreds. However, he develops his maximum 158 km slash h in half a minute. The second number was a slightly older, for 1.2 MPI with a capacity of 85 horsepower, which was supposed to be a four-speed automatic and she was only a second faster in the sprint. This version, by the way, is still disliked by many for disproportionately high fuel consumption for such size and power. You won't find a lot of serious complaints about the motors. Both are distinguished by reliability, and their life resource before serious repairs can be considered a milestone of 350,000 kilometers. This is provided that the oil and filters were regularly changed, after every 60,000 kilometers the timing belt was replaced. The fuel system was cleaned every 35,000 kilometers, in this sense, they are rather capricious. And the liquid in the radiator was updated at least once every 50,000 kilometers. Well, motor malfunction syndromes are standard, a drop in power, increased oil consumption, extraneous sounds under the hood. Expect serious problems with the mechanics is not worth it. The car is light, and the clutch travels 130,000 kilometers or more. Even a hard clutch pedal is not yet an indicator of a malfunction. The reason usually lies in the drive cable or worn bypass roller. The resource of the machine, of course, is lower. And it should be serviced, change the oil and filter, more often. At least once every 60,000 kilometers. When buying, it is probably worth paying attention and hearing to the muffler. Today is just the time to change this unit for cars of the first years of production. However, it is the brakes that most often draw attention to themselves. Rare replacement discs and pads will not seem behind and too. But it is especially worth paying attention to the caliper mounting system. They quickly become loose and contribute to the deformation of the pad, with corrosion at the body more or less. The only thing is that we do not recommend particularly leaning on it, you can accidentally hush it up. But a weak paintwork, which is easily scratched and prone to chipping, is noted by many. In the cabin, complaints are standard even for cars of a higher class. Poor sound insulation, everything is heard too clearly from the outside and from under the hood. The plastic is sonorous and rather scratchy, but you can't call a nondescript and dull finish. Under heavy weight, the front seats lose their shape over time. Trunk. Let's not talk about sad things, although if you fold the rear sofa, then you will get your legal 900 liters of volume. In its usual form, under the cover of the fifth door there is room only for a week's supply of food. The Picanto has stiff, short travel suspension. With all this, however, the chassis serves no worse than others. Most often, after 30 to 40,000 kilometers, you have to change the stabilizer struts in front. Its bushings and pillows of the front struts are capable of holding at least 60,000 kilometers. Silent blocks of levers and ball joints run 80 to 100,000 kilometers. So don't expect major problems. In a word, it says a lot that buying a Kia Picanto in the secondary market is not at all harmful and not scary. They ask for it relatively inexpensively, but at the same time, the baby will be able to save your money. Compact and 100% urban hatchback does not abuse the owner's wallet in maintenance.
The second Picanto is rarely seen with a manual transmission, since its audience is mostly ladies. And perhaps that is why a Chardonnay and abandoned specimens are extremely rare. Suspension. The weak point of the rear suspension is the shock absorbers. They can turn sour by 60 to 80,000 kilometers. They have to be changed along with anthers and bumpers, although similar parts in the front are kept for 100,000 kilometers. Other consumables of the rear suspension are considered eternal. There are no special weaklings in the front either. They also note a small resource of the steering rack bushings. Transmission. Options with MCP come across on the secondary much less often. A common feature of both gearboxes, at the turn of 100 to 120,000 kilometers, a loss of tightness of the axle shaft seals is planned. In practice, the machine does not like active driving. Due to the low engine power, demand from the automatic transmission increases and, as a result, accelerated wear of the gear packages occurs. Engine. With age, troubles will appear. By 100,000 kilometers, oil begins to ooze from under the gasket of the oil pan, the front engine cover and the rear crankshaft oil seal. By this run, the pan itself may rust, which threatens to leak lubricant. High voltage wires also become unusable, causing interruptions in the ignition system. Body. Despite four stars for safety, it would be five, if not for the lack of a stabilization system in the base, the metal is very soft. Even a slight touch in passing can cause a dent with a crease on the wing, and the bumper looks like paper at all. Well, the lack of soundproofing is a typical puncture for this class. Electrician. Alas, Picantos are equipped with batteries of small size and capacity. There is no place. Therefore, if the car does not drive for a long time, standing with the alarm on, the battery is discharged. It is most felt in winter and severe cold. Owners in such cases often complain about difficulties with starting the engine. 